Welcome, Mini Driver Emmy Rosen, Gerard Butler, and Patrick Wilson. You. No, you can sit. Okay, I'll well, just sit there. Yeah. Yeah. Right here. <laughs> Emmy, I, I just, we loved this. It was such a beautiful, beautiful movie. I can't say enough about it. Yeah. But I want to ask you, Emmy, you're already nominated for a Golden Globe nomination. Congratulations. <laughs> 18 years old. The whole thing? Yes, yeah, absolutely. Um, it's uh, a big surprise and uh, such an honor, and I, I can't tell you how happy I am for all of us because the film was nominated too, and I'm just, I'm just honored so much. And the song that you sing at the end so beautifully also nominated. Yes, indeed, which uh, is wonderful because he needs so Andrew Lloyd Webber needs so much help <laughs> to be nominated. Well, you sang you, it beautifully. Thank you. Love, yeah. I'm sorry. Let me just tell you, everybody, just in case I, they don't know, this handsome man mm. when you actually see him is the disfigured phantom. Yeah. 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 I'm going to support this Andrew Moon, this is Raul, who's in love with her, and Minnie with this Italian <laughs> accent. The diva. Is the diva. <laughs> the prima donna diva. Yes. <laughs> You know, you're, you're the Cinderella story, 16 years old when, when they discovered you, only 18 years old now. I mean, even though you had been in Mystic River and you had a part in that, you know, and people had seen you in that. Um, and, and you were just seven. We have a little bit of it. You were seven when you did a, uh, uh, something with <gasps> Plaza del... Can you imagine oh, that? You oh were the Metropolitan Opera at seven years old Look with Plaza del Domingo. Look at that. <laughs> wow. What was it like to audition for Andrew Lloyd Webber? It, you know, it was the funniest audition I've ever been to. I first had to pass this enormous acting screen test with Joel Schumacher, and then I got the chance to sing for Andrew in his living room. Mm. And uh, I walked in, and there he was, you know, godfather of musical theater, sitting on the couch. And I had never met him before, and uh, I walked in, and all he said to me was, Shall we? <laughs> and it was so obscure to me because I kind of like thought it must be my cue to sing. Mm, so yeah. that's exactly what, what I did. did. You sing? What did you do? Do it. I, just do it. Do it. Do it. No, now. you have to go see the movie. I saw it. It was I, wonderful. Uh, do I it. I sang Think of Me and Wishing You Think Were Somehow. Think of me. Come on. One more. Think life. of me. Think of me fondly. Aww. Aww. Actors wanted to play the Phantom. That is such a sought-after role, and then you come along relatively unknown. I understand even your mom didn't know you knew how to sing. Is that true? <laughs> yeah, I, she still doesn't know I can sing. Uh, well, you can sing. No, because I, I, whenever I mentioned to people that I was doing the movie, I could see their brain process working. They say, "The Phantom? You're, you're doing the Phantom? And, uh, is it a musical?" And went, yeah. And then he went, "Okay, okay." Uh, and Can following, you say? Michael, <laughs> following Michael Crawford, oh, who became yeah. so world famous play, playing the Phantom all over the world. I, I couldn't ever think of it like that. Well, actually, I never saw Michael Crawford play the role, and we were always trying to do something very, very, very different with the movie, yeah. you know, and you can just focus on what we're trying to do, and we have a chance to, I think, make a much more intimate, romantic, mm -hmm. passionate, oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. which so, is the value so of making it in a movie. I want to just ask Minnie something, because you, you have this fantastic Italian accent. You know, I'm leaving. Goodbye. Get my dog. How did you know? How did how did you get into that? Because you were really such a diva. Because there were so many. I spent a lot of time in Italy when I was um, when I was a kid, um, and there were always women on the, the, there was this beautiful town called Ravello where we used to go in the Bay of Naples and there was always a woman screaming at her husband <laughs> on the corner. <laughs> And then, and so I always remembered her, and then, you know. You so channeled her. I channeled, exactly. I was channeling Naples. We have a, you say, it sounds like joy in a bad day. But we, have a, we, have a little bit of, we have a little clip of it. These things do happen. For the past two years, these things do happen. And did you stop them from happening? No! And you too, you are as bad as him. These things do happen. Ma. I didn't stop these things from happening. This thing does not happen. <laughs> <laughs> that, that woman in Naples.
Peoples would be so proud of you. <laughs> and Patrick, you are, Raul, you are the heartthrob of the movie, and you well, do it so you. well. People loved you in Angels in America, but thank they you. may not know that you were yeah, absolutely afraid of applause. <laughs> but they may not know that... Um, Stage. You've been nominated for two Tonys for Oklahoma and the Full Monty, and you're, I guess, the only one who had seen the stage production I did. of Phantom. Yeah, I saw it ten years ago, actually, ten and twelve years ago. I actually saw Robert Guillaume of Benson fame play uh, play the role in L.A., oh, so yeah. a little bit different than Jerry. Um, <laughs> but uh, but I never really looked at it like an actor. It was just as a fan, and 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 certainly then, you know, you when you're a kid, it's just you're you're blown away by the magic of the theater and the waiting for the chandelier to fall and it's sitting right over you if you're in the orchestra. So it was really. Um, um, it was really a thrill just to finally get to play the role. I thought my days of playing Raoul were gone, but obviously not. Oh, not at all. And I thought one of the things that's great about the movie is when you get so into it, Barbara and I were talking, because you're not familiar faces. You will be after this movie, but you're not to many people. You wore those characters, and you played them so beautifully, and I didn't realize it was you. I thought it was the woman from Naples. I really did. We are back with the cast of Andrew Lloyd Webber, The Phantom of the Opera, Gerard Butler, whom you just saw as The Phantom, and we lost on her first starring role at the right old age, right old age of 18, 18. playing Christine, yeah. Patrick Wilson, who is the divine Raoul, her love interest, and Minnie, who is the diva. Mm -hmm.